So, I know people don't really use these very much anymore, but what these are is wood blades with a uh, monocoat or a uh, regular aircraft covering on them. And sometimes with these wood blades, you get a little ding on them like that. And this, you know, this doesn't really damage the blade. <laughs> and so, but this little bit can cause problems and it can start to peel back in the wind you know as the helicopter flies it can start to peel back and you can get a problem because of that and it causes a balance problem and so on so sometimes you can take the covering off of these and recover them and I just wanted to do a quick video about how to do that so um now it's not always easy to get this covering off of here um, when you stick it onto a solid surface like this it can be pretty tricky to get it off but what you need to do to just go ahead and get it started is like find a hole or something I, I encourage you not to take your knife and try to cut into it because you could cut the wood and that could cause failure of the blade uh, if you try to use it so, but what, what you can do is take your iron and put it on low heat. Um, I have it on three and a half. This is a hanger nine iron. I have it on three and a half. Um, and you can just rub it over the covering lightly. And that will kind of loosen the adhesive a little bit. And then, you know, after you, after you do that a little bit, should be able to grab the covering <laughs> if you can get your finger under it and it should come off pretty easily after that um, that's not the part I warmed up but that part as you can see that part is really it's loose now so it's coming off good Okay, so then you have your wood blade uncovered, and you can see the weight in it. Now, um, on the aligned blades, the weight is on the bottom of the blade, so keep in mind that this is the bottom of the blade here, and you're going to want to make your seam on the bottom part, just for show. Um, but keep in mind also the leading edge of the blade is here and what you really want ideally <clears throat> when you cover these is you want to go around you want to take your covering and and go around the blade starting on the bottom go around this way and then go over the leading edge last and put your covering down that way so like if I have a little bit okay, of covering here, you would start here. Start on the back or the bottom part of the blade. And, and I recommend starting towards the leading edge here. And I'll show you why um, later. But start towards the leading edge there, right about there. And then go around and come around. And then, you know, you're going to finish up right going that way. So what that does is that puts the that puts the covering going this way so that as your blade goes through the air this way it's not gonna lift up the covering um, so that's that's important make sure you go around the leading edge last and go onto the bottom of the blade last so that your covering doesn't peel up in the wind okay so I found this uh, really nice uh, pink monocoat here that I'm going to use and I'm not going to actually fly with these blades I'm just going to use them for display purposes like the other one but um, I wanted to show you how to measure it real quick here so I, I basically just cut a straight edge onto the monocoat using my metal ruler and I'm just going to take the blade and push it down flip it over Oops. make sure you kind of try to roll it so I'm just gonna kind of roll it over that way and then 
So that gives you exactly enough to go around the blade. And then you need to decide how much overlap you want. Um, and I don't want very much overlap, so I'm just going to go a little bit farther here. And I'm going to cut right here. Now, I really want about half as much overlap as that. But I'm going to cut a little extra because this stuff shrinks. So I'm going to cut maybe right there and it's just very simple hit it with the knife now for the length you do want to cut a little extra lay the blade out and I, I laid it I laid it so that the top part is lined up with the end there and then I'm just gonna cut, I'm gonna cut a little extra. So. Cut that. And save the extra in case you need it. You can use a, like a chip clip or something to hold down one side while you line up the other. You can leave that on there while you're tacking it down. Um, don't make it have too much pressure, but so you can kind of pull against it. And you can start tacking down along the edge here. Alright, so you just tack down the edge. Start working from the middle. Go from the middle out. Go out to the leading edge, out to the trailing edge, sorry. On the ends, tack down the monocoat good, and then we'll trim that later. Now when you get to the trailing edge, just take your iron and go over the edge like that. See how it's tacking down onto there? So get a good crease in the edge like that and tack it down so that it's stuck stuck to the edge. The edge has a little bit of a surface that you can stick to so I'll stick the monocoat down and then go around to the other side. And that's the trailing edge there so I've tacked it all down and I've got a good crease there and I'm about to come around to the other side but you can see it's starting to get some bubbles and stuff in it and so the tricky part of doing this is the other side and what you really have to do is pull like that pull on the center and go like that and then pull again and move out pull again move out pull again and, and each time iron down all the bubbles and you'll want to turn your iron up just a little bit higher um, I've got it on four now. See, starting to get some bubbles. So pull hard and go with your iron. Get those bubbles out. Now when you when you get back to the leading edge of the blade, I would suggest put the blade in your dominant hand and put the iron in your other hand. And turn it upside down. And as you as you get to the leading edge, sorry it's gonna be hard to show this, but you draw the blade over the edge like this and turn it in so that that way you get it down onto the leading edge really well. Now I'm doing it backwards so I can't see what I'm doing but make sure you do it you know facing yourself so you can see the edge going down um, and make sure that you get it on there really smooth and don't do this with so much pressure that you bend the blade 
but but draw it across the iron instead of trying to take the iron and go like that with it. When you get to the end, you're gonna take your knife and and cut. You're gonna cut right up to this corner and then go away just a little bit, and you're gonna cut along the line just far enough away um, as about half of the width of the blade, the thickness of the blade. So it's very difficult to do this right, but you gotta just do it slow and take your knife and go about half of the width of the thickness of the blade away and just cut around down here. And then in the corner on the trailing edge, meet up with the corner exactly. So then just tack it down with your iron. Now I did a horrible job on that, but you get the idea. On the other end, that shows a little bit better what it should be like. Try to get the pieces to just barely meet in the middle. So you want to make your final cut on the covering very carefully. Um, I, I made my overlap and then just, now I'm just eyeballing it, but I'm going to be very careful when you make that last cut there. Now when you do the last part you want to turn your iron heat up and but don't turn it up so much that the covering shrinks a lot but turn it up enough that you could shrink the covering to get the bubbles and everything out. So as you can see one of the problems with ultra coat is it's kind of thick and it actually it, it, it has an edge to it. I don't know if you can see that, but it, it, it kind of has an edge to it. And over time, that edge will actually pick up dirt. I have an old plane that I made with this stuff. And those edges will pick up dirt. Um, they're kind of sticky. So, I don't know if there's anything you can do about that. But if anybody knows something you can do about that, let me know. Um, but when you're done, just find the holes that were in the end. And just I'm just going to poke a little pull in them with the knife. Alright, as you can see when I put that plastic bit on there, it, it did make the hole there and the covering is going to be nice and tight underneath there so it's not going to come off or anything. And then I just put the screw in with the little CA and that's it. Don't screw it down too tight but get it in there good um, and there we go. We have a nice pink blade, but as you can see, it makes a little bit of a difference. Uh, I think it looks a little bit better than the old one.